Okay, welcome back to Facebook Live Wednesday night. Hope you guys and gals are ready to accumulate some health today. Um, you will get to look at my one of my daughters smiling at you the whole time. So hopefully that keeps you uh, um, engaged and um, warms your heart. <laughs> All right, so today I was going to talk about the whole HCG diet. Um, been hearing about it lately again. Getting a little, po getting pretty popular. Um, it just kind of comes through and, and comes and goes. It's uh, so basically the HCG human chorionic gonadotropin um, diet is a diet where you basically consume about 500 calories made up of vegetables, uh, one piece of fruit, and some meat, and then you inject or take as drops or even nasal sprays. Um, human chorionic gonadotropin, this, this hormone. Um, you may have heard of HCG. It tends to rise when women are, when women are uh, pregnant. Um, or it doesn't tend to, it must rise um, it, to uh, not only get, be pregnant, but uh, maintain pregnancy. So it's, um, it's a really important hormone. But, uh, you know, the HCG diet, HCG diet, HCG diet is it bad for people? Uh, hard to say. We don't really have any literature that says it's bad for people. Um, is it good for people? Well, that's what I'm here to uh, bring about. So consider the HCG diet is there for weight loss. That's the only reason I've ever seen anybody use HCG diet. I mean, there's we do use HCG for hormone replacement therapy and all kinds of things in guys and girls, but um, in this case, they're just using HCG for weight loss. Um, now, does it seem like if you were to do something for 20 to 40 days, eating 500 calories um, and using an external hormone that that is something that is going to be a lasting thing in your life. Like you're going to, you're doing this and you're creating these fresh habits that are going to last you the rest of your lifetime. So you don't ever have to go back and uh, get involved with, um, you know, weight loss or diets or those kind of things. Does that seem likely? I would suggest not. It does not seem like, which this is how all diets, any diet you get into, whether it's ketogenic diet, intermittent fasting, paleo stuff, zone diets, um, South Beach diet, you know, there's literally there are just so many diets out there um, that have been created. Uh, is it something that you could literally do the rest of your life? You know, Beside, not not counting if you have you know a, a, I mean cancer or you got some kind of autoimmune condition or uh, um, heart disease or diabetes. So there there are specific things that we would do in those cases that may not be something that a person needs to do forever for the rest of their life. As far as um, you know, within the spectrum of eating healthy, well maybe you have to eat extra healthy or certain food items um, if you have these conditions. Whereas um, an otherwise person that just wants to um, change their body composition, is it a good idea? I mean, those 20 to 40 days or 50 days, which is, so 20 to 50 days is about how long an HCG, HCG diet usually lasts. Um, and I will admit, um, my first about two, three years in practice, I definitely would allow patients to do the HCG diet. Um, and I would call on their hormones and everything. Um, I mean, I kind of wish I did do that now. I wish I would have thought about the uh, creating um, and teaching and inspiring patients to create new habits and, and just a new lifestyle, new way about going, going about things. Um, because we, we all want quickness. I mean, I want to get, I want to gain muscle super fast, right? Um, other people want to lose fat super fast. We all want our body to change the way we want it to be as fast as humanly possible, right? However, um, if those changes that are happening to our body are not something that can be maintained for the long term, then we're going to revert back to the way we were before. And in the case of the HCG, HCG diet, so nobody can, look, can eat 500 calories and survive, um, or I should say maybe you could survive, thrive in life. You're not, you know, not going to be able to work out regularly. You're not going to be able to uh, climb sets of stairs, um, no problem, by, by having 500 calories coming in. So say that everything related to the HCG, so HCG, HCG diet, it suggested theoretically that um, uh, 
by taking the HCG and having a low calorie diet, you burn fat more efficiently, that um, you reset your metabolism, that um, you're gonna lose fat but not lose any muscle mass in the process. Say all those things are, are spot on. Well, consider it's still only 20 to 50 days of your life that you're doing this thing. So say you lost seven pounds, 10 pounds in the first week. Great, I mean, who wouldn't wanna, I mean, tons of people everywhere would love to have those 10 pounds lost. However, I can say from personal experience with patients, and you may have personal experience yourself, that when we lose weight rapidly, when we have these changes that happen rapidly, um, oftentimes, and this is done, you know, in a, if it's not, you know, 20 day challenge, a quick, this quick fix, 24 day this, 40 day that, seven day this, three day group, grapefruit cleanse, whatever, um, those, pounds lost, they tend to return to us. And unfortunately, they tend to return to us in abundance. Um, and now we're staring at something where, uh, you know, basically we failed again. Uh, we try to lose weight, we try to change our, our life, um, or, uh, um, you know, get our body composition looking differently, but we failed again. Uh, so I suggest let's not do that. What if on the other hand, we were, and this is literally, this is what works. I'm only gonna tell you guys stuff that works, that legitimately works and you could do for the rest of your life um, and experience this accumulation of health over and over and over again. So what actually works? So say a person loses one pound, instead of losing 10 pounds in the first week of doing the HGD diet, they are they tweak one little habit, you know, changed up the, the, the type of latte they get or they uh, um, started uh, a walking regimen or uh, um, instead of, um, you know, going out to McDonald's on a regular basis, they, on a weekly basis, they started, you know, eating um, some vegetables and meat at home kind of thing for dinner. And they lose one pound a week. And then they lose, they, you know, they keep these habits, keep this habit change. And, you know, after a couple months, maybe they tweak another habit um, and they keep losing one pound a week. So in 50 weeks, they've lost 50 pounds. It's really good math here, right? Um, however, not only have they lost 50 pounds, and you know, there's some patients, I mean, I had patients before that would lose 50 pounds in 40 days doing the HGG diet. And I had those exact same patients that would gain 50 pounds by growing on a cruise ship um, the following month. So it's, I mean, it was completely, literally completely worthless. Um, and in fact, they were in a worse opposition in the end because it's actually extremely taxing on the human body to lose fat and gain it back. In fact, that's it's a really diff, it's a really big problem for plaque buildup in the arteries because you're you're um, mobilizing all these fat stores. The body has to um, you know take all all that um, tissue and, and cell debris, and it's got to go through the, the veins, the arteries. It's got to go to the liver. It's got to be either pooped out or breathed out. So um, is really taxed on the human body to lose weight and gain weight, lose weight and gain weight, especially when we're talking about fat. Um, so. If we went for 50 days, we lost 50 pounds. I mean, for 50, for 50 weeks, we lost one pound a week. Um, at the end of that 50 weeks, you got 50 pounds off. How amazing is that? Who wouldn't take that? 50 weeks from now, if you wanted to lose 50 pounds, would you not be pumped in 50 weeks, wake up and like, sheesh, I've lost 50 pounds. This is amazing. And what did I do? I just did these little tweaks consistently. Each week, I was just making little tweaks, little changes to my plan. Um, pulling out things here, putting in things there, all related to accumulating health and building health in my body. So the, by the time I get to 50 weeks, I've lost 50 pounds. Now, it, 50 weeks equals 350 days, right? 350 days is a lot of days. The thing is, it takes on average 92 to 157 days to create an actual habit, something that is automatic in our life now, that we don't have to, you know, like put all this willpower out and like try to make ourselves do it again, you know, cr try to go to the gym, try to make it to the track to do our walking, or, um, you know, wake up and read something good before we go to work, or, uh, you know, turn the TV off by seven o'clock at night, these things. If we were to do any of these things for say 93 days, or for some people it might be 150 days, um, we would have created something that's automatic where our body just does that. That is how we go about life. That is our new routine. And we don't have to use any energy to make that happen. Initially, you will have, we will have to use energy until it actually becomes a habit. But if we've done that little tweak for 
you know, 50 weeks, 50 pounds lost. Now we've got 350 days, 350 days of accumulating health. Now, the likelihood of us maintaining this health state, this way of living is extraordinary. It's actually now way, way more difficult for us not to continue in this way since we've been adding in slowly but surely, consistently, uh, these um, health habits. So let's um, consider that. Literally, every, and I'm just not, you know, slamming the HCG diet. HCG diet. There's, there's all kinds of diets out there. There's all kinds of, you know, multi-level marketing, 24-day things, three-day three, day, three, three day things, seven-day things, all these things. Just think, okay, you know, so many people say, I just want this jump start. I'm going to do this, you know, 10-day fast to just get me jump started, get some weight off, give me some momentum. Give me some momentum. I'm sorry, but literally I've never seen, not one patient have I seen who said, I'm going to do this, this seven day thing, lose some weight, especially when you're talking about weight. Um, maybe within a disease state, I've seen a couple patients do some crazy stuff that kept on lasting. But when we're talking about just weight loss, just this fat, fatty tissue we're trying to get rid of, um, feeding into, into a new pair of pants or a shirt or a dress or whatever, I literally have never, and I've, I don't know exactly how many office visits I've had, but 15,000 office visits or something. Um, I've not seen a single patient. So if I have not seen a single person, why try to be that one in a million when it comes to this, uh, you know, quick fix on, on the weight loss spectrum? Why try to be that person when it's so much more likely? And I have a whole line of patients who I could say who have done this, who started just making gradual changes, deciding why they want to change their body and then finding, okay, how do I, what do I need to do to make that, that why more powerful? You know, I want to, you know, increase the strength of my body because I want to be able to play with my grandbabies. Okay, so what could I do to help myself achieve this goal? Um, what little habit could I change? Okay, well, I could start up, I get up in the morning and go for a 10 minute walk each morning. Um, or I could do this little weight routine, these air squats in the morning to help build up my leg strength so I, so I can do this. I want to be able to travel, um, especially older people a lot of time. Um, they want to still be able to travel. It's like you know, they can't like pick up their suitcase. Um, okay, so what are we going to do? Let's, um, we'll do some lunges and we'll do some you know, curls to get you so you can actually pick up your suitcase. Um, and you could travel you, and you could feel comfortable traveling. These little tweaks, these are what's going to make all the difference. It's not your seven-day blast. Whatever food regimen you decide to get on, you want to get on, you want to get involved with, you have to think, this is a lifestyle I'm creating. This is a lifestyle. If it's not creating a lifestyle for you, which unfortunately the HCG diet cannot create a lifestyle because going more than you know, 40 days on 500 calories and doing the HCG inject injections um, is not something that's recommended even by the people that do, you know, promote Dr. Simeon who, who started this whole HCG thing originally in Europe. Um, so you're not, you don't even, your body doesn't have the opportunity to create a habit. It does not have the opportunity to create a new way of doing life. And that's what we want to do. We want to create a new way of doing life so that every ounce of fat tissue, of inflammatory, undesirable tissue comes off your body, comes off my body, whoever else's body is involved here, and it doesn't come back. It's gone, right? And the only thing that's coming onto our body is things that are accumulating health, such as muscle tissue, bone density. That is what's coming into our body. Um, new ways of thinking, um, you know, new synaptic loops so that um, we've been doing something, we've been, you know, eating an amazing breakfast, or we've been drinking, you know, 70 ounces of water, purified water every day for the last three months or three and a half months. And now literally I cannot, I don't even think about it, but I, you know, I drink this water. I drink 20 ounces of water every single morning when I wake up without even thinking about it. Whereas before I was having to, oh man, I got to get my water, I got my water. But now I don't even think about it because that's just what happens. That is my new automatic state. Uh, and there's so much science now showing that us humans, though we think we're making all these decisions, in reality, we are lo we are living out of an automatic state of our body. And unless we only have the power to make so many conscious decisions in a day. Um, and so we let's we need to find a couple conscious decisions we can make to change, to shift 
where we're going, if you want to, that is, um, that's accumulating health, make those conscious decisions, follow through with those conscious decisions. And then the next day we can, I, w- I would just do the same ones. It's, if we keep on trying to change it, you know, it's not like exercising where it's a good idea to change things up a lot. If we're making a new decision, it's better to make that decision, make it again tomorrow, make it again the next day, make that same decision again another time until we get a couple months, three months, I would suggest three and a half months down the road and then consider, okay, what's the next decision I can make to, um, you know, transform my health existence. Um, so I hope this is helpful. When you're thinking about getting on a diet, which I wouldn't consider getting on a diet, um, and this isn't just semantics, this is true. A diet, you know, it's the the understanding of our of the human body is that a diet is a short term thing. It's something we're just gonna do for a while, and then we can go back and do this other stuff again, right? Unfortunately, that's not how. If you if you want actual health, if you want to um, not have to do a diet ever again, if you want to just simply, you know. There's an event coming up. I want to look my best. Great. I'm already looking great. Um, there's a, you know, it's summertime. I want to look just, you know, whatever. Um, I want to fit in this bathing suit. Great. I already, you know, already fit in that bathing suit um, because I've just been accumulating health day after day. Um, and I got to a place where I feel really comfortable and I really like how I feel, look, um, my, my confidence is good. And then I just maintain that as opposed to, um, you know, shooting up and down, shooting up and down, creating all kinds of havoc in our body by um, losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight. I mean, that just, it's such a wreck on our insulin response, our blood sugar, our our cholesterol levels, like I said, plaque formation within arteries, um, this yo-yoing. We are, literally, we are way better off from a pure health standpoint, not doing anything, just living in our current state of say 25 pounds overweight, 50 pounds overweight, um, as opposed to losing 50 pounds and gaining that 50 pounds back again, losing 50 pounds, gaining that 50 pounds back again. That is far worse for us. Um, so, and you wouldn't, then you don't have to worry about the whole stress struggle, um, of losing weight and all that kind of stuff. So accumulate health. Literally, if you can just keep on no matter what people are saying, what people are bringing before you, think, eh, is this going to accumulate health? Am I am I building health so that in the end, um, this is something I can maintain? And, you know, some people think, ah, oh, well, I can't, I want to be able to, you know, have milkshakes or I want to be able to go to McDonald's. I love French fries so much. I love chips so much. I love donuts. I can't imagine never eating a donut again. That's fine. I mean, that's Right now, you can't imagine never eating a donut again. Um, but uh, once you start accumulating health, and maybe the donut isn't the thing you need to start with. Maybe it's it's something else that's easy. Get some easy wins. Um, then you will gain the confidence that, you know what? That donut is just an inanimate object. It carries zero value other than the value or importance I put on it. So, you know what? I'm deciding that I'm not going to put value into that thing anymore. If you don't put value into that donut saying that it, you know, it can help restore your life. It can you know, give you the sense of well-being. It can you know, give you that reward signal. Um, when I'm you know, down, down and out, you know, it can really help lift me up. Uh, if, we don't, if we don't give the donut, the Skittles, the M&Ms, the Blizzard, whatever it is, the bread, um, that power, it doesn't have any, it's just, it's just there. It's like people talk, you know, money, is money good or bad? Well, it just depends on whose hands it's in. Money could be ridiculously amazing over here. And this other person's hands, now money is terrible. Power, power can be amazing. If you got somebody that's a servant and using is, serves in a state of power or a person over here that's a tyrant. Both of them, it's just power. They both can give an authority, but you know, one's good, one's, one's terrible. Um, that's how food is. It's either beautiful for us, depending on the power we give it, or it's a, um, it's a terrible master. So let's master some food. Um, if you have any specific, I'm going to be, there's a bunch of kind of challenge questions that have come in that I'm going to be putting up videos on, um, over this next week, um, related to some different, uh, conditions and stuff that people had questions about. But, uh, if you have any questions related to food, specific foods or specific dietary strategies, um, 
you can definitely put them in the comments and I'll um, either put up some videos on those or uh, I'll um, answer your questions in the comments. Um, because I want, these, these videos are completely useless, literally useless, if um, we are not being inspired to act out um, on health accumulation. And uh, that's what I want to happen. And I know that deep down, no matter how you know you feel the the uh, intensity of food and sugars and uh, you know process jargon and all the marketing um, pulling against you, uh, deep down we all want to just be free of food and not have to think about it nonstop. Um, you know, decisions we're going to make this way or that way because um, I mean that just it, it does you know just we'd love to think about other things, wouldn't we? All right, so um, hope you're empowered and let's accumulate some health this week. Find something, find one little food thing that you can accumulate health with, either by subtra subtracting it from your lifestyle or adding it into your lifestyle. And I'll be back next Wednesday. Hope to hear some awesome testimonies about how that one pound is uh, adding up and how um, these fresh new habits are actually being created and um, now things are just automatically happening. I'm just like healthy and I, f I feel good about what I'm doing and I don't even have to hardly think about it. It's just how I roll. All right, so I'll talk to you guys later.